Yo, what's up, guys? What's up, JD? It's your boy Six. So I got no more spaceship. This is episode two. Life of the really the famous. Yo, I had a really busy weekend because of that. I had really busy days as well. Like I had days where I had so much to do. For example, on this particular day, I woke up and I had a session with Rexy. Hey, Rex. <laughs> On the same day, I had things I needed to do for my merch line because I, I put out a couple of designs and I'm trying to get prototypes, right? I'm going to be telling you guys a lot about that later while we go on and while we move on with the life of the really good famous. So here's how the day starts. I pull up downstairs. Rex is already here. He's already working on the beat. I like that. Don't point. I had to get some, some designs and some merchandise over to Cass, one of the creative directors of my, of my merch line as well on the same day. So... Check it out, six way. That moment, that's like the best time in my life. Like, it's an amazing feeling. It's like I get lost. It's like, it's like I'm no longer here because like I'm inside the music. And once I start vibing to it, then it's amazing. I don't stop. So I Yo, man, so once I get into the music, I start to crazy, like, I don't know, man, music's just like, it's like music gets me high, you feel me? So, like, I'm all pumped up, and I just want to keep going and going and going to the stuff. But there's one thing about me you need to know, too. I love food, man. I love food. And because I'm an ulcer patient, I don't play with food as well, because I don't want to end up having attacks during sections or after sections, you know what I mean? So it's food time. Why we're trying to get the section going, I got it. I got to make sure that my food is somewhere cooking, getting steamed up or something. You feel me? Let's check out what Eric was doing while I was recording. Yo, man, so like, we got a couple of hours into the section. I'm fucking tired. I need some motherfucking food. I got Eric around. Eric is like one of the cooks. He always makes sure that he has like the best fried rice though. I mean, that's what I like. Him. Today he's making fried rice. Yo, man, so can't wait to fucking eat and get back to recording. So it is what it is. Six way. The way I record music is quite different from the way other people record music because 98% of the time I don't write anything down until I have almost the whole song on freestyle loops. So I just start vibing, I just start saying different words, I just start saying some of the first things that come to my head. I just start, you know, miming some of the first melodies I could think of that go with the beat. You know, and then I start, you know, making a song gradually. So let's just start with this beat, and it's, it's, it's a wave, man. Trust me, it's a fucking wave. Immediately, like, like 30 minutes into the beat, I'm already vibing. <laughs> Like, look, when you're making a hit song, there's an energy around the studio, there's an energy around the environment that just get it just gets people. <laughs> So we had a great, we had a, we had a great session. Too bad I couldn't show you more about the session. So at this point, we already have like, like a, like a template. That's what I call it, a template. After I put out all these different freestyles, I go back to the music and we go back to the beat. We develop the beat. We work with the idea we have now as the hook of the song, and then we, we create like a verse for it through the other freestyles I've done and through the other freestyles I did during the session. And we're making a whole song. I'm probably gonna do a vlog post about that, telling you guys about the process, how I make my music, but that's a story for another day. Like I said, I had a really busy week because I had a lot to do. The day we recorded this song, 
I had so much to do on that day. I even actually had a video shoot, but we had to move the shoot to like two days later, right? So I had to eat, go to bed, wake up early because I had property allocation program for the new brand that just got signed to. You know what it is, six feet. I'm going to tell you all about that. Yo, man, so we here now. Fucking lay him in a fucking hurry, man. So that shoot on my back right now, shooting me. Always shooting everything. So, yeah, man. On our way, pick up my manager. Next stop, the property allocation. That's what it is. Guys, how you guys doing today? Why are you happy to be here today? Make some noise for yourself. Chit, 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 chit. So what's up guys? What you just saw right now, um, in the last minute or rather in the last 14, 30 seconds was a property allocation program by Revelation Properties, which is the new company. I was signed to so ignore my hair, I haven't done my hair. I haven't seen my dread guy in like, in like a week, right? Because I've been a little bit too busy right i was just about to give a speech telling people about new things to invest in one of the reasons why youths and one of the reasons why someone like me doesn't even have more than i have right now in terms of property wise is because i wasn't educated enough about you know properties and i didn't know that i could get it like this so what revelation property does is like they're like the new age real estate companies like to me they're like the tech of real estate right so what they do is they allow you to grow properties not just buy properties which means you can buy properties in bits for as small as one square meter you know what one square meter is like um, almost the size of my snorkel board so now what you can do is you don't even just have to pay once for example the property on green line now is like what seven million right and for plots right you can start with as small as eleven thousand seven hundred naira that's one square meter because uh, a plot of land is made up of 600 square meters, right? So that's what I was doing. I was educating people on how to get things with more substantial value. Over time, I've seen young men like me, you know, make small money, like maybe 10, 5 million, 3 million, even 1 million, even 500k, even 100k. And they're like, ah, property in this place is too expensive, maybe it costs millions. And I'm just 100k right now, plus I have to take care of myself or whatever guess what you can start by buying a square meter and grow your property into a plot whenever time and, and whatever you know and range you want you feel me so that's the whole idea about properties over time we get we get caught up with with materialistic things that have no substantial value property is the only thing that grows and appreciates when it comes to things of substantial value so basically man that's what it's about on the next episode i'm going to take you guys through a video shoot we had and i'm going to take you guys through the development process of one of my you know new singles as well that's what it is man keep it locked it's six way life of the really the famous jd